kill your daughter. You and your husband. God can still do that. God is in the working business. God will make a way out of no way. So we have some scriptures before you in Ephesians 22 that how God can do or work his things in your life. Ephesians 5 and 22. Why submit yourself to your own husband? God wants to be obedient to our husband. God said your own husband, not the husband down the street. He wants you to submit to your husband as you do to the Lord. Verse 23. For the husband is the head of the wife. Our husband is the head of us, because God placed him as the head of us. You say it to me, that's what you're saying? My husband is the head of me? He can't do this and he can't do that? Evidently, God knows he's the one putting him the head of you. Of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. His, his body. So God is the head of the church. So God is knowing what he is doing when he placed your husband the head of you. And that God is the head of all of us. Our husband and our us and the whole body. Of which he is the Savior. So God is our Savior. So we're supposed to obey him to have rule over us and keep his commandments. Let's go to verse 24. Now as the church submit to Christ, so also wives should submit. That again, obey. Submit means obey. To their husbands in everything. God wants if he tell us to go down the street and get a piece of mail out the mailbox, that we have to do that. If he tells us to go down the street to go to the store, God yeah. wants us to do this thing. If he's saying, baby, get my socks out of the drawer, that we would do that and go get the socks out of the drawer, not tell him you go do it. God's not pleased with that. If you want to be blessed by God, because we're doing these things unto God, that God is telling us to do these things. And we got to obey our husband and not cause some trouble. So God wants us to be obedient in everything to our husband. We supposed to love our husband and not cause him no harm and danger. So God wants us to be obedient because he's not telling you to do nothing wrong. He's not telling you to uh, go jump off the bridge. Then you don't go do that. But if he's telling you to do everything, you do everything that he asks you to do. If he's telling you, go make my breakfast, baby. There's no harm done. Go make your husband breakfast. If he's telling you, baby, I need some orange juice. Okay, give him some orange juice. Baby, I need my back rub. It's nothing, no harm in that. Rub your husband back. Build him up in every area that he needs to be built up in. Because he needs that. When he comes home and have a hard day at work, it's not wrong with giving a good word to him. Baby, it'll be all right tomorrow. Or baby, it'll be all right. So that's what we do. We build him up, not be, not take him down, and not talk about him behind his back or get on the phone and talk about our husband. We build them up as they build us up also. It goes both ways, hand in hand. That we do the same here, or that she's working. So God wants us to do the same thing, but we know that he is the head, not us. We don't wear the pants in the household, you know. You know, if he's saying, hey, I want my dinner with and I want my house clean, it's nothing wrong with that. It's not wrong with making his bath walk. It's nothing wrong with that. Do just that for him. Because he is the head of us. He's not telling us to do no wrong. Because especially if he's God's man, he's going to treat you right. He's not going to do you wrong. You mean tell me he ain't going to dog me out? No, he's not going to dog you out. He's going to do you right. He's going to do you from because he's God's man. And then sometimes you might be some things he might say to you. And you go to put on. You don't try to get up straight and get into an argument with him. And tell him, I ain't doing nothing. No, he's still the head of that house. You go and pray to God, and God will straighten his man out. So God wants you to be blessed today. He wants you to not to have a divorce today, because these divorce rates are very high. So God wants us to do just that. God don't want us to get a divorce. He don't want us to be sad. He wants us to have a long last, long marriage, and be together with love and honesty. And, and peace and joy in your home. So we're going to go on to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 28. In these same ways, husbands are to love their wives. So here they are to love you as their own body. You mean to tell me? Because he's going to love his own body, so he's going to love you. Because he's going to wash his body, he's going to put lotion on his body, 
He's going to keep everything clean and everything up, so he's going to treat you the same thing. He's going to wash you, he's going to love you, he's going to keep you up. And he's going to come for you just like he comes for his own body. And he's going to love you like an unlasting love. And it says here, he who loves his wife loves himself. He's gonna, if he loves himself, he's going to love you. Because he's going to treat himself right, so he's going to treat you right. If he's going to go to the store and get himself some flowers, he's going to bring you back some flowers. If he goes to the store and get himself some donuts, he's going to bring you some donuts too. Or he's going to call you and say, baby, what you would like at the store? Because he's, I'm going to treat myself today, so I'm going to treat my baby today. So we just thank you, Lord, for not having no divorce, because God don't want you to know divorce. God can work anything out. God has been a good God to us. And he will not fail us in our marriages. And he loves us in our homes. And he wants us to be obedient, wives. So be obedient. Just like we be obedient to God. When God tells us to do something, we run and do it. Why we want to run and do it through our husbands? We respect him like we respect God. We honor him like we honor God. So God said, don't, don't feel bad because he's the head or he's over you. Be rejoiced that he's over you. Because God will have him to treat you with love and right. And so anybody today that's having any uh, discretion in a uh, marriage or and having a divorce, or if the Lord uh, can bless your marriage. So today, if anybody here wants to stand and say, I want my relationship fixed, or I want my marriage fixed, God can do this day. God can join marriages even also today, because God has been a good God to us. He can straighten some situations and circumstances out for us. So, Lord, is a good God today. Even out there, Father God, even out there in Radio Land, God can bless your marriage too. He see what you've been going through time after time again. I keep telling my mate to do this and that, and she just won't do it. Or, I, or he won't do it. Or he won't follow my lead. God can bless that. He can bless anything. So, Lord loves you today, and he sees what you're going through. So, the Lord saying today, I will fix everything. This is all you have to do is come to me and ask and keep my commandments and do my will. If today is unsaved marriages out there, I mean unsaved husband and wife, that they need to be saved so God can fix your marriage. God can bless you. God can even bless you right now. Even me are unsaved. God can bless you. But God wants you to come over here so you can know his rules and regulations and keeping his commandments and doing things his way. So God loves you today. God concerned about your marriage and your family. He cares about the children. He cares about everybody. He cares even about the dog. He cares about everything. Because the Lord even loves your children if they're doing wrong, if they're not being obedient. They need to now be obedient. If they're not doing things that they not supposed to do even at school, God can straighten that out at school. God can straighten anything out, but God has been a good God to us. So today in Radio Land, God wants to bless your marriage and your family. God just want to love on you. He just cares for you. He don't want to see you out there. He don't want everything split because it hurts the children also. It hurts them very dearly when their parents argue and when they fight in front of them. They go and tell their children at school and say they fight me. On the bus they tell children at school that they fight me and I don't want to go back home. So God said today, don't fight. Come to me and bring me the problem. I am the problem solver. I'm God all by myself. You have the victory if you come to me. I will solve your problem. I am the solver. I am God all by myself, and I will solve your problems. Out there in Radio Land, you already got the victory. So I'm saying right now, so anybody here that just want to give their lives over to God today, God is able. If you don't have no marriage problems or any situation that you are having today, God is here. Or you just need a little prayer. You just need a little more Jesus. He's here for that also. 